Beam Production and Filtering. At Triumph, scientists use exotic atoms not found on Earth to study the reactions inside stars and supernova. We create these atoms using a proton beam to shatter a large atom into smaller atomic fragments, some of which are the exotic atom we are interested in. The challenge then is to separate it out from all of the others. In this lesson, we'll use the principles of Newton's laws, electrostatics, and circular motion in a magnetic field to show how atomic filtering can be done. Atoms created in the production target emerge as neutral particles. The atoms are then ionized, removing a single electron and creating a stream of positively charged ions. We need to filter out a particular exotic ion from the stream, so let's look at the principles behind ion filtering. The ion beam is first passed through an electric field created by an electrical potential difference. Here, the ion's electrical potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. Let's equate the initial potential energy with the final kinetic energy. By rearranging the formulas, we see that the velocity of the ions depends on their mass and the electrical potential difference. The accelerated ions then pass through a vertical magnetic field which imparts a perpendicular force proportional to the ion's velocity, causing them to trace a circular arc. Starting with Newton's second law, let's substitute in the magnetic force F and the centripetal acceleration A into the formula. Rearranging the formula, we obtain an expression for the radius of curvature as a function of the velocity and the mass of the ions we discover that the radius of curvature depends on the mass of the ions, the accelerating potential difference, and the magnetic field. Since the accelerating voltage is kept fixed and the charge of the ions is known, we see that by simply adjusting the magnetic field, we can select the ionic mass that curves just the right amount to exit a narrow passageway out of the magnet. To illustrate how this works, let's gradually increase the magnetic field and count the number of ions that exit the magnet. We see that sometimes there are few or no ions coming out, however, at particular fields we get a lot. This indicates that we have separated out a particular ion from the stream. This system is called a mass separator. In the workbook, you'll find an actual graph from Triumph showing the ions detected in the mass separator as a function of the magnetic field. One of the ions is identified for you. Using the information found in the workbook, see if you can identify all the others. We hope that you have found this video useful in showing you how high school physics can be used to understand the workings of the cyclotron. At Triumph, we have many programs for high school students, teachers, and the general public. We encourage you all to come to Triumph, and don't forget your camera.